So here we go. Uh, got a little something in the mail today. Uh, I was setting up my lights and uh, for the Mad Wagon live stream that we hope to be doing sometime. Um, and uh, I was getting a flickering. Let me see if I can show you that. So here we are. Forgive the mess, but I just have like the basics I've got. These are some washes. They're three in ones. They've got these kind of amber like bulbs. They've got these LEDs that are in between the bulbs and they got the LEDs that are along the edges. So you can do some really, really cool things with these. We got some standard PARs, uh, standard LED PAR cans, which are really nice. They're cheaper, but they're really nice. Uh, I'll probably end up doing a video on each and everything that I've got here. And then here we have some moving heads. So there's two here and two over there. And excuse me that I'm set up in the little kitchen down in the basement Dutchman here, but it's the space that I got. And here is, this is QLC Plus, um, and I'm just starting to kind of program. And so this is what I, this is kind of the thing that I've found. So... Let me take this off of blackout. So there is like a yellow wash from those. There's a red wash. There's a white wash. So everything looks really fine, right? And then if I go to the motorized heads, they kind of started up, but I can do a white wash from the motorized heads and their fans started up so they're making a little bit more noise. So you got that kind of action going on there. But now when I go to the park hands, I get this. So, I think, according to some friends that know light stuff, I think that I am, uh, I've got too many DMX fixtures plugged in, or possibly a bad cord, or something like that that's not allowing everything to talk to each other the way that it's supposed to talk. So, I had ordered these. So this is a wireless DMX uh, transmitter. Uh, it's by this company Chinley, I guess, um, on Amazon. Uh, pretty inexpensive. There's another one out there that's very popular called Donner, but I'm pretty much sure that they're made by the exact same company. Uh, they just changed the sticker and boom, it's made by another company. Uh, so we're going to give this a shot. And what this will do is this will act kind of like a splitter. So instead of buying a splitter and still having to run cables, I have one transmitter and I have, uh, that's actually not the, what the receiver looks like. Well, let's open it up, let's open it up. So this is a receiver. This is all supposed to be plug and play. We'll, we will see how that goes, but this is a receiver and I've got five receivers. Would have liked to have had six, but they didn't have that package. And this, this is the transmitter. So you can see the antenna, there's the transmitter. So this will plug into the end of the dongle that I have running on the computer. And then these will go into some lights. I'll probably start with four because, uh, excuse me, three. Ah, maybe I'll do four. So I'll, I've got these four here lights that will be plugged into one of these. And then eight of those, so I'll do two sets of four for those. And then we have these, so that'll be another set of four. So we'll see if we can do that. Hey, before I get too So here we go. Uh, got a little something in the mail today. Uh, I was setting up my lights and... Uh, for the Mad Wagon live stream that we hope to be doing sometime. Um, and uh, I was getting a flickering. Let me see if I can show you that. We know if what I'm doing so here is we are. To you. All right, forgive the mess. So I think we got it. I think it worked. But let's switch the camera over and let's, uh, let's see if we can see the whole. So the exact same setup, QLC Plus, the wash bars, the PARs. Actually, I only did one receiver for all eight. So you can see the receiver actually right there blinking. Green means good. Um, there's another receiver all the way down there. And so all four of these lights. Right now we're in blackout black mode. So 
if I turn this off of blackout mode, we have whitewash. And then if I want to turn on the gobo heads or the motorized heads, there they are doing a doing a nice white wash or white effect on the ceiling, rotating and, and they're mirrored. And then here we got the green pars with no blinky blinky. And the red pars with no blinky blinky. And the white pars with no, well, it's red, green, and blue, but you get what I'm saying. You know, there's the blue. Oh, no, there's the blue. Hard to run a camera and to uh, do that at the same time. So yeah, there we go. Uh, so the, I actually, believe it or not, they, they tell you to use only DMX cables on uh, running between lights. Well, I ran out of DMX cables and I actually have one short, very short mic jumper in there. And I thought that that might have been the problem when this all had DMX cables all the way through the entire system, all, what, 16 lights. I thought, you know, I had DMX cables except for the very last light and people on forums and stuff were saying, that's the problem, that's the problem. And guess what? I still have that mic cable in the chain, but I removed some of the lights. So now we basically have one DMX send going to three receivers. And so there's only four lights on one, eight lights on another, and and four lights on another. And so no more and I don't even have them terminated by the way all the DMX guys said you should probably carry around a terminator I and I've got one ordered uh, but yeah so it works and it was very very plug-and-play they work really well they seem to be nice and heavy really well built um, I don't really have much experience of them outside of that so so uh, anyway there there we have it there it is, and uh, I'm going to start programming scenes in QLC Plus so that we can do a Madwagon live stream with syncopated, sequenced, syncopated? Lights. Lights is what we're going to have. So, and then uh, if you want to have a Madwagon for a private party or something like that, we will come with our own sound and lights, and it'll be kicking lights. All right, thanks. Bye. <laughs>
short, very short mic jumper in there. And I thought that that might have been the problem when this all had DMX cables all the way through the entire system, all, what, 16 lights. I thought, you know, I had DMX cables except for the very last light. And people on forums and stuff were saying, that's the problem, that's the problem. And guess what? I still have that mic cable in the chain, but I removed some of the lights. So now we basically have one DMX send going to three receivers and so there's only four lights on one eight lights on another and and four lights on another and so no more and I don't even have them terminated by the way all the DMX guys said you should probably carry around a terminator I and I've got one ordered uh, but yeah so it works and it was very, very plug and play. They work really well. They seem to be nice and heavy, really well built. Um, I don't really have much experience of them outside of that. So, so uh, anyway, there, there we have it. There it is. And uh, I'm going to start programming scenes in QLC Plus so that we can do a Madwagon live stream with syncopated sequenced? Syncopated? Lights. Lights is what we're going to have. So, and then uh, if you want to have a Mad Wagon for a private party or something like that, we will come with our own sound and lights, and it'll be kicking lights. All right, thanks. Bye. <laughs>